you dinged Mike because we wrote an article about diversity in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Noting, you noted that disability is also part of diversity. You said, Hawkeye is actually deaf and Marvel made the character hearing. How often do you feel like disability is discluded from conversations around diversity? Yeah, so many times people forget the disability conversation in diversity. They think diversity has to do with race, gender, but there's so much more to it. We are part of diversity as people with disabilities. And the danger is that we get excluded. And so I want th that to be a part of the conversation. In the comics, Hawkeye, and I, I don't remember, there are a couple of issues where specifically Hawkeye is deaf. And so they brought in an actor who can hear instead. I think it would have made a better movie and, and better TV if they'd actually brought in a deaf person to play a deaf Hawkeye. And I mean, no offense. Um, Hawkeye in the Avengers is boring. <laughs> a lot of people don't even like him. I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of his work, but let's have a deaf actor in there instead. Why not? I agree. Would you consider playing the role if you were asked? If they asked me, I would absolutely consider it. You're a big advocate of wanting deaf actors to inhabit deaf roles. How do you feel like Hollywood is doing in regards to this conversation? It's a catch-22 for me, because it's amazing to see my language, American Sign Language, on the screen, and actors who are able to hear learning my language. But at the same time, we're still not, it's not 100% accurate. So I think Hollywood really needs to start considering bringing in more deaf talent, because there are so many of us who are very talented and can do this work. And if they really want our perspective on the screen, then they need to think about it differently. I want to read a statistic. Uh, the 2016 Annenberg Foundation study found that most characters with disabilities in film are white men and almost none are LGBTQ. Again, looking and questioning Hollywood, do you think Hollywood is doing enough to address this concern? I don't think they're doing enough. But when I first came into the offices and started talking about all of these different ideas, I realized they don't get my experience not only mine as a deaf person, but other people of different backgrounds and lives. lives. Um, so they need us. We need to start thinking about writing our own scripts, developing our own shows, bringing our ideas to them, because I think that's going to work better, because then we can definitely help Hollywood, and they need us. I've been into many meetings with casting directors and producers and directors, and they always say how much they love me. They always say they love my, what, my work as an actor but they're not sure whether they can bring in a deaf person or not, which tells me that they don't get my cultural experience. It's like, okay, I'm gonna write my own show and hopefully that will help you. And I'm excited about this because I'm in process with it and I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Do you find like the rejection has gotten less over the years and, and how do you handle that when they say no to you and they put up that barrier of entry for you? Yeah, obviously it's a resentment. Um, it's frustrating. This is not an easy industry to be in, and oftentimes it's just like, maybe I'm just gonna go back to grad school and get a degree in education and start teaching. But what I've realized is it takes patience trying to work with them, trying to give them ideas, because really, they're lost. They don't have any idea what my perspective is, and so they need my help, they need us. And really, I see change every day in my community with the platform that I have. And so um, I, I can't lose this opportunity. I need to, to continue to change lives and to change the entertainment industry.